Hello and welcome back to Shadow of War with myself, Hollow. And this is not a live recording like every other episode. This is a post recording because I have been grinding out in Shadow of War and I found out that, uh, <laughs> well, there's 10 stages to the Shadow of uh, Shadow Wars. Uh, basically, what you do is you go and defend a fort. And then you go and defend another fort. And then you go to defend another fort. And then you go to defend another fort, right? That's the first sort of main stages. And you go to stage four. And now you got to defend two forts. And then the next stage, you got to defend more forts. So they basically, they, they have you defend like 20 forts or some shit, uh, which is the exact same mission every single time. It's the exact same mission a bunch of times. And you just repeat it infinitely. And the idea is that you can't actually beat the harder ones as you go because you need stronger captains to do it. And at the end, you basically need a bunch of legendaries, all at max level. And of course, you need to be max level. So enjoy grinding the level XP until you're strong enough to actually then go subjugate the captains, which are RNG spawns, by the way, uh, killing them infinitely until a legendary spawns. And then if he's not strong enough, you have to shame him over and over until he gets an RNG thing that turns him insane and makes him strong again and then he's good enough to have in your army and you have to do that uh 10 times per army or something um or there's four armies you have to make so it's just <laughs> it's it's I, it must be like 40 hours of gameplay right there which is you know kind of neat to say oh wow they just give you like this extra little bit of thing to do at the end of just 40 hours of gameplay but what it actually is if you look at like an assassin's creed game where they go have you do like 50 hidden location missions which are all exactly the same it's the same thing you go do the same mission over and over and over infinitely until you have a strong enough army and you're strong enough and then you go beat the mission which is the same thing even even when you have all of the guys and your payoff is like a three minute cinematic or something like that so we're gonna just watch that cinematic because i'm at like stage seven right now in the shadow wars and i was looking into it and found all this out and I'm very disappointed. It's basically a system that says, hey guys, buy loot crates because it helps that part. You know, this part where you're doing this stupid infinite grind, 40 hours or whatever. Um, yeah, you make that 20 hours, make that 15 hours, make that no hours if you want to buy like a fuck ton of crates. But buy an open air crates and we will let you bypass this horrible shit mess of quote gameplay. Uh, that we've just sort of forced into the game here. And honestly, I saw someone in chat when I was talking about the Shadow Wars, that when I was upset about it, um, explain and say, look, this is the game. Shadow of War, they put sieges in the game. This is now the section where you get to really experience them and really build an army. And I don't really get why everyone's so upset by that. Now, this person, I can't remember their username, I'm sorry. But it's a valid point. It is a valid point. This is the game. This is the, 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 the siege stuff get involved in the sieging so i did and i did it for a while and i look you gotta ask yourself a question sometimes is this fun is this enjoyable and the hard answer to the shadow walls is no for me so i reached a point where i was like let's just watch the cinematic let's try to just enjoy the true ending of shadow of war and not be too upset by this stupid thing they put in it's warner bros they've done a terrible thing Loot boxes are infesting our games. Look at fucking EA's Battlefront 2. Good lord. Insane. Um, but quite frankly, a lot of people bypass this game. A lot of people skip this game because of what we, they've done with the loot boxes and the rumors about them. And I'm actually really happy that I played it. I'm really happy that I got invested in it because I love Middle Earth. I love Lord of the Rings and Hobbit and that this universe, the characters. And they did a great job of putting me as a goddamn ranger, feeling like a ranger, running around in Mordor, having a great time, and change the story up, change the lore up, to be something worth seeing and enjoying. And I'm so glad that I did I did this. I'm so glad that I did this series. I'm so glad that I played it. I'm so glad that I bought the game. And I'm, I'm disappointed by the Shadow Wars. If the Shadow Wars was like four stages, fantastic. It wasn't, unfortunately. Otherwise, we'll just let all that slide. Let's watch the final cinematic, the true ending when you beat all stages of the Shadow War. This cinematic plays. 
Talion held back the forces of darkness for decades. But the Dark Lord's ring had a will of its own. It is over. Talion finally fell and joined the Nine. In the years that followed, the One Ring was found. The newest of the Nazgul traveled with his brothers to the Shire in pursuit of the new ring bearer. And then... After decades of war, darkness gave way to light. A new fellowship and an unlikely hero. Death came. Death to Sauron. Death to his dominion. And death to Tami. Who walked out of darkness and found freedom. Well, there you go. That's the true ending. Uh, he became the ninth uh, Nazgul. And yeah, it makes sense. You know, he did actually end up killing one. We actually got rid of the the one that had the, the ring um, that stole it and died. We got rid of him and then sort of replaced him in the end. So yeah, the Shadow Wars is essentially a, what was it, 20 year process of him just infinitely defending forts against the forces of Sauron and winning and eventually it just felt like he couldn't beat and gave up and became one of the Nazgul and just went mind controlled basically no control over himself uh pretty cool thing to imagine if you watch the films or read the books now imagine that one of the ring wraiths is Talion and then you've got all this great backstory one of my favorite things is um the little stories and information you got about the Nazgul and their history and how they became what they became so, I don't know, man. Yeah, the lore is silly. Yeah, they changed a lot of stuff. But if you look at it as someone who just enjoys Middle-earth and likes to see more of the universe and wanted to see a little bit of a twist on the story and what could have happened or what could have been, this game, Shadow of Mordor as well, was a really nice addition and I really enjoyed it. Uh, it was a great way to just experience Middle-earth from a different new perspective with really enjoyable gameplay for me and a fun story and fun characters so i'm glad that i did this playthrough and i enjoyed that ending that was good i mean fuck the the, the evil ending the sad ending the one that you get before the shadow wars is insane how sauron consumes brimbor how they betray tally and how he is about to die and decides to become a nazgul to survive and manages to go for what 20 years fighting with that crazy corruption inside of him with the ring after him with sauron pressuring him sure enough he gives up eventually but 
Hey man, 20 years is quite a long time. Thank you very much for watching this series, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I really appreciate all the support with it. And I will be doing a new Twitch play for at some point in the nearby future. At this current time, I'm looking at uh, Cuphead or Shovel Knight or maybe Nier or Samata. We're thinking about it. Um, it's not going to happen immediately. I'm currently really enjoying uh, streaming Overwatch. But even though I may continue to stream Overwatch, even though I'll probably do you know the Battlegrounds update and stream that... Um, I will have an ongoing Twitch stream series that is a playthrough in this style. So I hope you look out for that and support that when it comes, whatever it is. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. We'll see you next time.